going to show all of you left-handed stitchers out there how to make a palestrina knot, like this here. It's a beautiful decorative stitch and really pretty using a larger size DMC or Eleganza Pearl Cotton, such as a number five or a number eight. This is a number five. So just a couple of notes. Uh, because I'm left-handed, I stitch in a clockwise manner or I stitch from bottom to top, like away from me. I find it's really easy to learn stitches without trying to mirror image a right-hander by just turning your work a little bit. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna show you how to first stitch the palestrina knot around an edge of applique, and then I'm going to show you how to stitch a palestrina knot just up and down, making these, uh, these pretty stems like right here. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first, you're going to take your needle up through the background of your wool applique and bring it to the top. You're gonna take a stitch, just a small tiny stitch, just a little bit above, and pull your thread through. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the back of your needle and you're gonna bring it through that stitch you just made And what happens is it forms a Y or a little V right here. So the next thing you do is I like to hold my thread up and to the right with my thumb and I'm gonna take the back of my needle and I'm gonna go from the bottom of the left side of the Y and I'm gonna bring it through to form the knot. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing. Now you can do these stitches um, close or far apart, depending on the look you want. So we're gonna try this again. So we're gonna take a stitch, using the back of our needle, we're gonna go through that stitch to form a little V or a Y. Hold your thread, using the back of your needle, go through the left-hand arm or left-hand part of the Y, keeping your working thread behind and you're gonna do a stitch. So we'll do it a couple more times. Okay. Gonna take a stitch, bring your thread through, swing it around, go through the left-hand side, and bring the knot. Okay, one more time. Take a stitch, Bring it through. There. And that's how you do the palestrina knot. I'm going to show you how to do a palestrina knot to make a stem on your wool applique. And for demonstration purposes, I have drawn a line with my chalk pencil. This is the one I like the most and I have threaded my needle with some shepherd's silk and I'm using a chenille number 18. And basically this is so you can see the stitches. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come up through your piece of fabric You're gonna take a stitch come through. I'm gonna make that little Y, see? And you're gonna come up through the left-hand side and that forms a knot. Okay, so we're gonna do it again. And I'm just following my chalk line to make the stem.
and I'm putting these relatively close together. They're very pretty. Let's just do it again. Okay, I'm gonna go through. Using the back of your needle keeps your threads from getting caught with the wool. And that is the start of a really beautiful stem.